Hello, let's have a look at Biped inside Studio Max just to see what it's sort of all about. So, it's basically a preset, um, strangely enough, biped uh, rig, and we'll find that under the creation panel, under systems, biped. And we can click and drag out a biped, and we'll uh, zoom into view that. We can go into to change it. Usually inside Max, you would change that in a modify panel over here, but Biped is sort of a bit unique, it operates a different way because it's a rigging system. Um, so we change that in the motion panel. And there we go, so we're inside it. What we have in here, we have um, several modes along the top. We have figure mode, footstep mode, when, when it's pressed, when it's not pressed it's free form. We also have uh, motion flow mode, and we've got a uh, motion mixer, which is like a non-uniform uh, linear editor. Yeah, more or less. Okay, it's me looking at the sky for some reason. Right, so um, when we're in figure mode, strangely enough, that sort of alters your figure, and you can load and save different types of figures as well. So under the figure, you've got a uh, structure which you can say how many arm and leg links you want for your character, how many fingers they have. So if I go to finger links, I can say well, there's less finger links, and there are actually less fingers. Yeah, things like that. Okay. Um, you can also select um, how many spine links you want on there, so you can have from sort of one spine link to, well, quite a few, we'll say um, whatever. Same with neck links, so drag that up, you can have neck links up to, um, drag that up, so that's leg links, neck links, there we go. So here you can have quite a few, so you can change the character around, change them into sort of like dinosaur shapes and all sorts of things. You also have tail links as well, which is over there, there's lots of tails, there you go. And you've also got in the arm you have, um, got to structure again, you can have... Da -da 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 -da. Where are we looking? Twist links, isn't it? Where's that then? Here we go. Twists. Yes, you got twists, and then you can say how many you want to have on there. So you can have sort of forearm. You can have like lots. You can have ten forearm links on there. You can just see that. We put it into wireframe mode. You can see the sublinks on here. Okay. Right. You very basically, you can just about make it out probably in this particular item. Right, so um, you can do quite a lot basically, and you can change the type of skeleton you're also looking at. Let's put it back into wireframe shade, and we can sort of look into skeleton mode, male version, uh, female version, and also classic, which is sort of Catch Studio 2 stroke Catch Studio 3 style of looking. Looks a bit old at the moment. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and load up uh, a type of figure. So in figure mode, so load and save changes what you what type of things you can load and save. So in figure mode, you load and save figures. In footstep mode, you load and save footsteps. Same with motion flows and blah blah blah. So figure mode, open up. We're going to go and load up one called Kim Possible. Okay, so there's one that sort of takes on the sort of gen generic sort of shape of the cartoon character Kim Possible or something like that typical sort of cartoon look with sort of nice and stumpy looking so we'll get out of figure mode and we'll go and make some basic footsteps now you need to understand that the footstep mode you've got inside biped isn't the be all end all of you create them and that isn't that wonderful I look like uh, Pixar it's a starting point is to get you literally up and running or up and walking um, with minimum effort basically just places the footsteps down gets a bit of arm swing going and from that timing you can adjust it and then add your own keyframes on top you've got layers and things like that so let's have a quick look here then so we are now out of figure mode which currently we're actually in free form mode which means you can do anything we like so um, actually let's have a quick look so what we've got here if we go and open up our, let me have a look, uh, key info, we can actually do things, um, let's put, let's go back to zero, it would make sense wouldn't it, uh, we can then go and put um, auto key on, and what we're going to do is we're gonna, just going to make two planted keys, so we're going to plant this guy, and we're going to go and plant that guy.
Okay, so what that means then when you select body vertical means they stay still basically. They're planted. Yeah, you can lift them up and they are actually planted. Um which is quite nice. But you know, you, if you want to sort of use IK you can do and still move them around. If you want to use FK you can just go and select something and move that around as well and you can decide what you want to do. Same with hands. Let's just rotate around here. Let's go and select this guy here. We can hit move and sort of grab that one and sort of move that around so it's in IK mode. Or we can go and grab that body part here and put it into FK. So we're not switching anything, we're just selecting something different. So this is very much like in Lightwave with um, IK boost where you get sort of both ways of doing things. Um, but there's no sort of weird sort of things you need to select and change it to move mode and change it to whatever mode. You just go and select it and say, I want to rotate you. And you rotate it or you say, I want to get you and just grab you and move you. And I can sort of move you. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Alright, so that's pretty cool. So that basically shows you that you've got um, FK and IK all within the same rig. Um, you don't even have to think about it, it just works. Uh, pretty cool. So let's go and set him back up to where he was a minute ago. So go into figure mode, out of figure mode. So back into figure mode. And we'll go and delete that key. And out of it. There we go, let's delete that. In fact, I'm wanting to just do some undoes. There we go. Okay, and it's still moving. Excellent. Right. Uh, what we need to do is select everything. Delete that key. Right. Now we can go to figure mode. There we go. Just had a key left on there, so I can deselect. Right. So let's go and play some footsteps then. How far are we in? Seven minutes. All right, quickly make some footsteps. So if we say select any body part, so we'll select just to be obnoxious the neck, and we're going to motion panel footsteps. We can go and create multiple footsteps. We're going to create twelve of them. Okay, so there's our twelve footsteps. What we can do, we can um, change the moment. This is going to go and walk forwards, but we haven't even started it yet. Let's go and do a walk forwards then. There we go. So the character is basically going to go and walk forwards. Just going to hit play. There's your character walking forwards. But that's a bit boring. So let's stop that. And what we're going to do now is, still got all these um, selected, we can actually go and bend them around. So well, actually we want you to walk in a circle. So we're going to sort of make you go that way. And then hit play, and your character walks in a circle. How cool is that? Pretty cool. Okay, so other things you can do is you can change where the footsteps are. So let's deselect everything, and we're just going to pick a footstep up, footstep here, and we're just going to go and move it slightly left, and move that slightly over there as well. And you'll find that the character now obviously follows the footsteps. So we can say, well, that one, this one, I'm just going to go and turn that, and turn that in that way and then I'm going to turn that slightly more in that way and you'll find your character will now still turn in this one looks a bit too far away so let's go and move it so you can edit quite easily and sometimes you might want to sort of deactivate your footsteps and reactivate them to see because it all, it's all definitely all this walk cycle we've got at the moment is based off a straight walk and we've actually bent the footsteps afterwards so now let's go and deactivate all the footsteps let's grab all the footsteps deactivate them Okay, and then reactivate them. Okay, that's going to reinterpolate where this character is walking. All right, one of the things we've got running at the moment is actually we're running out of time. Let's do a part two. So we'll come back in a minute.